Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, I am logging in for the first time right after the Week 7 uh, update has just dropped. As you guys can see here, I am right at one of the initial screens of the launch. So I'm going to be getting into this news update with you guys. I'm going to check out all the notices. We're going to take a quick look at the crash battle and essentially just diving into everything that is being unlocked in the game today. All right, guys, so it looks like we have a new weekly login bonus here that's going to give us a good amount of blue crystals. The high wind just looks absolutely beautiful right here. Let's just take a second. I'm so stoked on this. We're going to be checking it out here in a second. All right, so let's go over from here. We are going to be getting some more mithril ore. I do like that they've been giving us more of these, especially when how much more of them are necessary to build these new weapons. And here it is, guys. The high wind has been unlocked. Ding, level up, let's go. New draw. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. I thought that was going to be a new banner. I was like, whoa, hold up here. How did they get this past us? All right, guys, so it does look like there is a new high wind special launch draw. There's a limited time shop. I will be doing a review on the shop as well. Looks like there's some interesting things here to look at. All right. Okay, let's see. The high wind has been unlocked and can be accessed from accessed from expeditions. You can gather collection items aboard the ship to boost your power. Okay, that looks interesting. All right, guys. So first things first. Let's look into the notices and see if there's anything we happen to miss in any of the uh, prior notices leading up to this. All right, so let's see. It goes down to here, April 17th. All right, so I'm just going to start here. We're going to go through as we normally do. We're going to check out all the new updates. So here is the High Wind Launch Special Pick Draw. All right, so as of April 17th, to celebrate the launch of the High Wind, the High Wind Launch Special Pick Draw is on. In this draw, appearing five-star weapons will be the ones that have been selected from the wish list instead of featured weapons. Okay, guys, in my experience, this comes typically before something really good in the game. For example, this dropped on Christmas, six days later on New Year's Eve, we got the New Year's banner with Cloud and his Fire Arcanum, and Zach with, or no, Sephiroth with, his, with the first Fire and Peril weapon in the game. Um, so, this leads me to believe that there is something good coming in the next week. My recommendation is that if you're a new player and you have a bunch of extra crystals saved up, this can be helpful. However, I do do not think that these are worth pulling for. Maybe do like one or two pulls if you have extra crystals. I'm talking 50,000 crystals and above or 40,000 and above. I'd say 50,000 and above. Um, but this is a indicator to me that something really good is coming because these are very baity and it's it's easy to lure people into pulling on these kind of banners. So my suggestion is hold off guys on this draw and wait to see what's coming. I still think that there might be a Final Fantasy 16 collaboration right around the corner. We'll just have to see. All right, so let's go down. Five star weapons selected on the wish list will appear. So basically, any five stars you pull on this banner will be from your wish list. So it can be really, really helpful. Um, but like I said, it's a lure banner, it's a bait banner. Okay. Um, all right, let's see here. High wind launch pack available for the first time. It does look like high wind materials are available in the shop. Personally, I'm not really a fan of that. Um, you know, it'd be like if chocobos were appearing in the shop and you could buy them with paid crystals. But I'm just going to have to see. We'll, we'll have to see when we get there. All right, so let's go down. Let's keep going. All right, so this is the list of the things in the shop. We'll check out. I'll do a shop review here in a moment, guys. All right, so from there... The new feature high wind launch. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, uh, as of 17, the new feature has been released. Access it through the expedition on the home screen. A high wind is unlocked after reaching player level 20. So if you are not level 20, I think this is for your full player level, not like your individual characters levels. All right, regarding the high wind, collect items and enhance the high wind, defeat the boss enemy and obtain a collection. 
Okay. Enhance the airship Highwind and take part in various battles. Rewards accumulate over time and can be collected to earn various items. Airship Enhancement. The Highwind and its parts can be enhanced by consuming collected items and mission reward items. Enhancement increases your item collection efficiency and the probability of finding rare items. Okay, so technically enhancement would be like if you, you could level up your chocobo and then by leveling up your chocobo, it brings back better things, except it's the high wind and it's not a chocobo. All right, airship battles. As the airship is enhanced, enha enemy battles will be unlocked. By winning in airship battles, it is possible to obtain a collection and or rare items. Some airship battles will not be able to be challenged after a certain amount of time. So that means I'm guessing you have a certain time period to take them out. Enhancement increases the probability of finding rare items. Meet the conditions to enhance your collection. It looks like the Buster Sword is here. It looks like Tifa's gloves from the new event are here. Maybe is that them? Collect Astro Wind to overboost your collection. Increase your stats even more. A collection is a collection of items that by simply possessing them increases a character's stats as well as other benefits. I'm guessing this is permanent. Enhance your collection and increase its effect by achieving the conditions. Collection Enhancement The collection can be enhanced through the accumulation of various battles and enhancements within the game. By enhancing your collection, you can increase your stats. So for all of you guys that play War of the Visions, this is kind of like hollow VCs, where each VC has a smaller stat that when you, when you acquire the card, it gives you that permanent stat across your entire pool of characters. All right. Collection Overboost. Consume Astro Wind to overboost any collection. Overboosting will also increase the amount of stats gained for any collection as well. All right, so it looks like Astro Wind is the thing to have here. All right, let's go on to the next one. The Critical Threat. The Crash event is here, guys. It's been a while. They put in a lot of these at the beginning of the game, and we haven't seen one in a minute. All right, high difficulty. The Turks A team is here. All right, so we have new stages, including a new ultra hard stage crash battle. I wonder if there's a crash too. Um, have been added to the ongoing event critical threat, the Turks A team. It looks like in the victory draw, you can obtain a new Lucia exclusive weapon, the Turks rifle and Lucia specific memories from the draw itself. Just so you guys know, the way that I go about these uh, critical threat events is I don't overly farm the silver and the bronze tickets because as you can see here They're going to be dropping a gold ticket one week every single time after the start of these events And when you farm the gold tickets, it will also give you silver and bronze tickets So if you maxed your silver and bronze tickets um, Before the gold tickets get released you're kind of wasting your stamina potion So go slow in the first week on the critical threat. I know I should have told you guys that last week, but I'm telling you it now all right, looks like you can obtain up to 11 Lucia exclusive Turks rifles from the gold victory draw. Okay, that's pretty typical. The crash, victor the crash battle, for those of you guys that don't know, is a very, very hard battle. It can be cleared by free-to-play players, but it is extremely rare. I'm talking maybe one in a thousand free-to-play players are going to clear this stage, if not rarer than that. Also, by clearing the crash battle, a frenzy battle may be added, where essentially... If enough people clear this fight, whether in solo or co-op, it's combined, the counter, then after the event is done, they're going to have a frenzy battle where you fight a little baby cactuar, and it's super easy, and you're going to basically going to get a thousand crystals from beating that cactuar. Um, so it doesn't say how many times we have to clear it here. Normally, ah, uh, here it is. All right, so if 500 players clear it, everyone in the game will get a thousand crystals, guys. So... You're going to want to get these crash clears. There's multiple ways to do that. If you're a free-to-play player and not strong enough to beat the solo, you can go into these lobbies kind of randomly, although I find it to be difficult. Um, there are multiple Discord servers that do runs, being the main Final Fantasy VII official Discord server, the second Final Fantasy VII Discord server. There's like two big ones. But then also, guys, if you want to come join my personal Discord, it's called the Curseborn Discord. We are going to be running people as well. All right. Probably not at the same level that they do in the bigger ones, but you can get run through us as well. There's a link to the description of my Discord in every video that I put out. So come check it out. Come join us. It's a fun little group of players. All right. Other than that, let's go back. 
All right, so the high wind launch campaign, I'm guessing this has to do with the blue crystals we saw at the beginning of the video. For a limited time, all characters experience is boosted 200%. So all you newer players that are still leveling up, that's great news for you. All right, the high wind launch weapon enhancement boost campaign. So the great success rate of weapon enhancement, 20% increase is up to 50% for enhancing your weapons. That's also good. And weapon enhancement quest rewards is increased to 50% as well. So now would be the time to start uh, grinding those quests to get the weapon enhancement things. Personally, I don't really grind these. I only do these quests when there's something that I need to level up. I'm not really like going crazy trying to collect thousands of these. I only kind of level things up as I need it to clear content, which makes the game less grindy for me and a lot more enjoyable. All right, so let's see here. We are gonna get a total of 1500 blue crystals from the login, which is fantastic. Um, and we are going to get we are going to get missions to get up to 60 free draw tickets. All right, so that's fantastic. The free draw tickets are returning. Um, so I'll take a look at that in the campaign right now. So let's go over to the campaigns. So it looks like raise the total of all airship parts to level seven, clear one high wind battle. The collect the high wind rewards one time. Click consume 100 stamina, 500 stamina, enhance any weapon fend times five times my bad synthesize material five times anyway you guys there's a bunch of these right here i'm not going to go through all of them but just check down the campaigns right here and you'll figure out how to get those tickets all right so let's go back over here this is one of the things i'm really excited for the summon stream edition for shiva all right so addition of new difficulty the trial of summon uh to the trial of the summon shiva all right, Diamond Dust maximum level is going to be increased to 10. Addition of new item, Shiva's Noble Memory. I was wondering if we were going to be able to use our old Shiva's Memories since I have a bunch of them. It does not look like that's the case. We will need to grind something new. Shocker. All right, so... <laughs> All right, so Summon Stream expanded. That's going to be cool. Um, and it looks like we have a Trial of Shiva Very Hard 3. Okay, a Trial of Shiva EX1 and a Trial of Shiva EX2. Eligible quests here, Trial of Shiva, very hard, three. All right, so basically you can farm the noble memories from any of these quests, and I will be putting guides up for these shortly. All right, so let's go back over here. Half anniversary, seven week campaign, and this is an older thing. So let's real quick go down here to Expeditions, and let's just take a glance at the high wind. I will have a video following this one actually tonight, where I take more of an in-depth look at this, but this is pretty sick. I love the music here in the background. All right, there are items ready for collection. Collect them and take a look at your rewards. All right, so I'm just gonna do my first collection here. Ooh, we got memories. We got iron metal for all you blacksmiths out there. We got a paint, a can of paint for all you painters. This is like a great event for the tradesmen of the world right now. All right, I was a carpenter for a lot of years. Okay, so, all right, so that looks pretty cool. I mean free stuff right i mean i wish it would have been guilds but you know I'm, I'm pretty psyched we get a high wind you know as long as they let me fly it around one day and be the captain of the ship yeah that'll be great all right so let's look at enhancement right here um it looks like through airship enhancement you can enhance the high wind and its parts with items you've collected doing so will increase your item collection efficiency and discovery of rare items all right so let's do our first enhancement guys I'm gonna enhance the high wind. It can go up to a, to a high level of 70. I wonder if this increases with the characters themselves because it just so happens to be the same max level of the characters. So let's enhance this. All right, high wind level two, boss enemy spotted. Okay, all right guys, I think I'm gonna have to take out this boss really quick. Actually, let's look at this other stuff. All right, shall we, shall we upgrade the engine? I think we're gonna upgrade the engine. Guys, I get the feeling that this is going to be a major gold uh, drain. So just be careful, guys. <laughs> don't go under like 400,000 gold, I think, just as a warning. Like, don't just fully drop all your gold into this because one of the main things that Ever Crisis needs in this game, and Applebot, if any of you guys are out there listening, we need a proper gold farm, okay? The daily quest for farming gold is ridiculous. It gives so little, all right? So that would be great. Okay, so we did our first enhancement. Our high wind is a is a grand level of two. All right, let's go to collection right here. All right, so here it is, guys. This is going to be the way to raise your permanent stats. 
All right, so the High Wind Collection. Collection items have effects that strengthen your characters by simply possessing them. Fulfilling certain conditions will allow you to enhance these items and boost their effects. All right, so it looks like we have a bunch of these right here. This one raises physical attack and boost limit ability potency. That's the Secrets of the Great Sword. We have HP and magic attack. We have physical attack and physical defense. Magic attack and healing. Wow, it's going to be hard to choose which ones to upgrade. Physical attack and healing. Physical attack and boost mat. What is this? Oh, materia command ability potency. Interesting. Boost magic attack. Physical attack, limit ability potency. All right, so this is similar to this one. This is Secrets of the Great Sword. This is Legacy of the Great Sword. All right, so it's the same thing that it boosts. So I'm not quite sure why these are different. Okay, but it looks like these level up kind of like weapons where we have five star and then OB1 will make a red star. And I'm guessing this goes up to OB10. All right, this has Will of the Katana, Magic Attack, Boost Limit Ability, Potency, Boost HP and Physical Attack this time, Magic Attack, Magic Defense, and lastly, Magic Attack and Mad Materia Command Ability, Potency. All right, so I like this one, HP, Physical Attack, Will of the Blade. So let's enhance this really quick. Whoa, it looks like Glenn's weapons raised to level 50. Booyah, let's freaking go. All right, I'm just going to keep enhancing this. And we're going to see right here. All right, so we're just leveling up this Will of the Blade right now. This is actually pretty fun, guys. All right, it's actually pretty fun because I can actually level stuff up right off the bat. All right, so let's see what else we have. It looks like the Will of the Blade is directly associated with Glenn. All right, I'm going to go down lower and see what else we have in it. I'm guessing that each of these are associated with a particular character. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to finish off. All right, so it looks like interesting. Okay, so these you can go between the different books. All right, so I'm guessing this is Cloud. So let's look at this, Enhance. This is Cloud. Next one, Barrett. Next one, Tifa, Secret of Magic Arts, Aerith, Secrets of the Pharaoh, Red 13, Ninjutsu, Yuffie, Kate Sith, Zack, Sephiroth, Glenn, Matt, Lucia. All right, so that's how it is, guys. These stat bonuses are directly correlated to each of your individual characters and certain things that you've raised on them. So, for example, on the Secrets of the Great Sword, right? This boosts limit, break, limit ability potency for. Cloud's weapons raised to level 50. If I have one of them, I can level it up, right? If I have three of them, I can level it up, all right? If I have five of them, I can level it up. And if I have seven of them, I can level it up. All right, so it's looking pretty good so far. I do have 10 of them at level 50, all right? And it looks like it's maxed right there at 10 out of 10. Okay, so this should be something that you guys can basically jump into right away just start leveling up your weapons however just be really careful guys this is going to drain the shit out of your gold and look at the amount of stats that we've gotten out of this so far all right so 0.5 percent for limit ability potency so this i'm going to tell you guys this high wind collection this is a marathon grind i do not think this is something that you're trying to max right off the bat and even if you do max it right off the bat it's going to give you very incremental things that over time show you an exponential gain. All right. So don't go crazy for me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to literally farm anything to level these up whatsoever other than what I already have in the game. I'm going to let my natural progression dictate my own high wind collection. And I think that if you do that, you're never going to be running out of gold and then stress that you can't level up that new weapon that you just pulled on the banner. You know, I think that this is a better way of going about this rather than, you know, just going crazy right off the bat. All right. So that's going to be here. I'll come back later on in my next video where I go into more in depth on this after I've leveled everything up and checked it out. So let's drop back out here. Let's check out our first boss enemy. All right. Enhancing the airship unlocks airship battles and winning these battles yield collection items and rare items. Some airship battles are only available for a certain period of time. It does not look like this one is only available for a certain period of time. And it looks like I'll be fighting the Vajradara, Lin, and Tam right here. All right. And the reward will be a decorative weapon box. All right. Which gives boost weapon command ability potency 
plus 0%. So it looks like this box, empty as it is in the picture, is also empty over here. I'm just kidding. I'm sure that this gives something good. It's just pretty funny that it gives 0%. All right, so let's do this really quick. I'll go to my random team that I can just re-recommend. Let's go through this battle. And then I think I'll probably bring this video to an end. It's been pretty fun checking this out. It is fun to get something new in the game, even if it is another like expedition feature. Um, I'm excited for when they bring new things like guilds, stuff like that. But this is definitely fun to have for right now. All right, so let's just go through here. And it looks like I'm going to have a really hard time taking down this fight. This guy's probably going to one-shot me here in a second, but I'm going to do my best, pray to the gods, and hopefully we'll kill him. All right, luckily the gods were shining their luck upon me. I was able to kill this first fight, and we killed our first Highwind battle, guys. All right, Highwind launch. We got a campaign. All right, and it looks like I got some cool stuff. 10,000 gil. Okay, thank you. They literally heard what we were just talking about. I think that's the most gill I've ever gotten from a battle in the eight months of playing this game now. So it does look like we are going to be getting gill from somewhere other than the impossible places that we've had to get it so far. So they have been listening. They are aware of the problem of how much gill or gold this is going to cost. So thankfully, 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 that is looking really good. All right, guys. That being said, let's jump back out to the main screen right here. All right, guys, so I am going to do a quick shop review for the end of this video. All right, so here is the Highwind launch shop. Let's take a look, guys, and see if there's anything here that's worth purchasing. Of course, if you guys are whales or like I call them thick dolphins, <laughs> then you guys are probably going to pick up a, a couple things. But I want to just see what here I think would be worth it for like minnows and smaller dolphins for people just looking to spend a little bit. Wow, that is a shitload of paint cans right there. 2,000 paint cans. Um, and it looks like 150 Astro wins. To be honest, it's hard to gauge the value of these since I haven't actually done the high wind video. So I'm just going to say for now, hold off on this until we actually know the value of these items. Um, it looks like we have a three-star gotcha ticket along with 10 high wind boosters. So for those of you guys who always pick up the 300 page paid ticket, this is probably going to be a good go-to. Um, it looks like there's this one I don't think is, is as good. Two regular draw tickets and not even 10, two regular draw tickets. Um, especially because this one was 300 paid. This one's 300 paid. This is two regular draw. This is the most... This is weak. This is a weak banner. Please don't support this one. This is ridiculous. Do not spend 300 paid for two freaking gotcha tickets. All right, so let's go down. This is a great banner, bread and butter of anyone spending even a little bit of money in the game. This is gonna be 3K paid and it's gonna give you a guaranteed five-star weapon voucher. These are fantastic. If you do pick it up, I recommend not spending it right away. Don't just drop it into whatever you're working on. Wait till you're fighting something that you're struggling with, and then you're going to find out what you need to use it on. All right, here we have two gotcha tickets and the 3200 paid. I avoid these, like I said. They drop those like special crystal packs like they did during the limit break draw banners. Those are the ones to spend the money on for the crystals. All right, this is just going to be some memories. Same old stuff here. So nothing new. Same old stuff here. Don't recommend. These are also the same as before. Also, don't recommend unless you're a much higher spending character. So I'm just going to pass through all the character packs here. And yeah, that's going to about wrap it up. So the only thing here that I can recommend for now is this one right here. Other than that, this one 5k paid is definitely going to get you started on the high wind stuff. But I think that, like I said, this is something to handle over time. All right. Yeah, so I'm honestly pretty excited. I'll be having another more in-depth uh, video about the high wind later on for you guys to check out, just in case I find anything I didn't find like right on the surface in this video. Other than that, I will be putting out a very hard three guide for Shiva, EX1, EX2, a crash party guide for those of you that are looking to get into the crash battles but not sure how to 
make your character because typically you're going to be running a healer if you're joining a crash group being run by whales you need to learn this fight if you're coming and joining the discord you know you can't just jump into these fights and auto your way through it you have to know the build you have to know the mechanics of the fight or else even if you have whales you're it's not going to work so anyone that's coming in, we're happy to help. We're happy to help you guys, but make sure that you understand this fight. And in my guide about running the crash, I'm going to show you how the majority of people can build a character, likely a healer, in order to go about tackling these fights. All right, guys. That being said, if you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for future Ever Crisis content. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Take care and peace.